this article that started with a headline, Caterpillars Communicate with Their Butts. And when I read the headline, I thought, wow, what a great theme. I got to talk about, you know, communication and, and animals and funny things. So how do we communicate? Through sound, waves, body movements, hearing. It was just real and really interactive. I did the telephone. And we, you pass the message along the line. Something something Monday. Something something Monday. I heard like blueberry pears on Monday. Blueberry pears on Monday, okay. <laughs> Bonnie sells bluebells at Princeton on Monday. There's a wave of sound that you see as a wave in the heights of the candles, right? Some are low. Everyone see that? I learned that bacteria can light up. A certain kind of bacteria like glows up in the dark and it's on the squid. So the bacteria make the light, they get fed, and the squid uses the light to protect itself. And without this bacteria, the squid could like never get food. So I love talking to kids and doing um, outreach and trying to make young people or old people think that science is cool, that it's mysterious, that it's beautiful, like the way these bacteria make bioluminescence is beautiful, and that, um, that anyone can learn it. This kind of movement, this vibration, is very uh, important. Can they be made visible? Can we see what it is exactly as a sound? Can we visualize it? Thank you.